Good morning, and welcome to your weekly message from First Congregational Church, Milford, New Hampshire. I'm your pastor, Al Hoyt. Today is Thursday, January 27th, 2022. Big doings this week. Sunday, January 30th, will be the 183rd annual meeting of the church. You can attend this meeting in person or via Zoom, or you can call in on your telephone, um, and the link that, <coughs> excuse me, the link you will receive will give you the instructions on how to do that. You should all have your annual reports already. If you're going to, if you're going to watch the meeting or participate in the meeting remotely, via Zoom or by telephone, we will ask when you first log in to identify yourself so that we can assure that each person there, especially if there's more than one of you watching on the same screen, that we have everyone's name down to guarantee that we have a quorum. Please bear with me. This is the call to the 183rd annual meeting. The 183rd annual meeting of the First Congregational Church, United Church of Christ, Milford, New Hampshire, will be held in the church sanctuary on Sunday. January 30th, 2022, immediately following the Sunday worship service. The Sunday service is at 10 a.m., and the church and parish house are located at 10 Union Street, Milford, New Hampshire. The 2021 annual reports of all staff, offices, boards, committees, and organizations of the church will be presented and acted upon. Resolution number one, be it resolved that the nominating committee will extend its work to June 2022 to find candidates for vacant 2022 board positions. This request is being made to facilitate the limitations to in-person programs in 2021 and a general hesitancy of members with health concerns to interact in person. I received um, yesterday, uh, I received a, a video from our conference minister, the Reverend Gordon Rankin. I'd like you to watch that video now. It's not very long. Friends at the First Congregational Church of Milford, I bring you greetings on behalf of all of those of us who walk with you in faith in the New Hampshire Conference of the United Church of Christ. I am the Reverend Gordon Rankin, conference minister of the New Hampshire Conference. And today I am here to give voice to our abundant gratitude for all the ways in which your church community has given to support our church's wider mission, often known as OCWM. Your OCWM basic support giving of $6,400 and your contributions to all four of our four national offerings have been combined with the giving of other churches to make vital impact in propagating the work of God here in New Hampshire, in our country, and all over the world. To our national setting, you have given to support global missionaries and global mission partners, provided resources for worship and for justice conversations that are utilized by many of our churches, and have provided the staffing and fundraising resources that have allowed us to abolish over $75 million of medical debt that was impacting families all over the United States. Through the New Hampshire Conference, you have helped us provide the necessary safety measures to be back at Horton Center for the camping season this past summer, to work with over 40 of our churches on finding their future pastoral leadership, and to make resources for preparing folks for ministry more robust, and even further to support many of our churches in the development of innovative, sustainable new ministries. I always say it. These ministries that I have described, they are not just ministries of the United Church of Christ or the New Hampshire Conference. They are ministries of your church. You have helped to make them happen. On behalf of the United Church of Christ and the New Hampshire Conference, as well as on behalf of the other churches and settings for ministry that your giving has impacted, I say thank you. Thank you for what you do to further the work of God and to spread the love of God in our world. Blessings to you.
Thank you for that, Gordon. Well, on Wednesday, February 2nd, Groundhog Day, at 7 p.m., the diaconate will be meeting via hybrid, hybrid. <coughs> excuse me, look for a Zoom meeting link in the email that afternoon if you remember the diaconate. On Thursday, February 3rd, from 9.30 to 1.30 p.m., you can drive up to pick up your elements, for those of you who are worshiping with us at home. Uh, from 10 a.m. to noon, the Bible study, Making of the Bible, being run by our intern, Cindy DeAndrea. At 7.30 p.m. is choir rehearsal. On Friday, February 4th, from 9.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m., you can drive up to pick up your elements. And as always, if you know you're going to be coming to pick them up, give us a call and let us know. Yesterday, there was an, an, a kind of exciting event here. Um, a, an original copy of the book, Our Nig, Reflections of a Life of a Free Black, was written by Harriet Wilson. Most of you know who, who that was. <coughs> an original copy of that book was presented to the Milford Historical Society here in our sanctuary. I was thrilled to be part of the entire operation, and it was really interesting. It was a really interesting experience. We will have a video of it available. If you're interested in it, you can just ask, and we'll see to it that you get a link or that you get an opportunity to see it. <coughs> Excuse me. And with that, please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Well, it's an exciting time. We're getting a lot of things done. And I will ask you again, please consider serving on a board or a committee, even if you've done it before. It's really, really important to the operation of the church that we have these seats filled. <clears throat> and if you love the church, as I do, I hope you'll seriously, prayerfully consider serving on one of these positions. And with that, until we see each other again, take good care of yourself. Take good care of each other. And God bless. <laughs>